What? Didn't your little adoptive family tell you about this? It's funny, you know, you think Tina's the victim in all this. I know what it is to be a victim, and trust me, she ain't here. She did this and this. She couldn't. Drink and drugs, bruv, changes a person. Jekyll and I. Tina. If everything Tina says is true, why only bring it up now? What's she got? Her word about something that's supposed to have happened when we were kids, when she was probably high. What? And what have I got? Hard evidence. I've got my car, I've got this. They said you went for her first. They're lying. She's lying. But don't take it personally, bruv. Families, they lie to the rest of the world. They're just not each other. Well, if that's true, then tell me what this is about. Well, everyone needs someone looking after them, don't they? You had me and I had... Well, you really don't remember? <sighs> Mrs Lewis, English teacher. I mean, I was never any good at school, but she, she'd notice the bruises. Hurting every time I stood up or sat down. And... She couldn't do anything about it, and of course I, I always denied it. She, she gave me this to look after me, she said. And of course, Dad never stopped the beatings, but after St Nick, the pain never seemed as bad. <laughs> Dad, he never laid a finger on you. I made sure of that. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Dad. You've got some Nick to look after you now. <laughs> I remember him getting angry, but... And then you just go back to him. You go back to the Carters, you know. They've taken good care of you so far. Stu, uh, I'm sorry for what happened to you, but... Take back what you said. Tell the police you got it wrong. You still think I'm lying? No, I... I can't know. But what good will come of sending her to jail? I don't care about any of that. All I care about is if you believed me, we could forget about all this. Forget it, like, drop the charges. 